evening all. So welcome everyone to episode 38, Shark Attack Case Files. So today we're going to go through the the history of great whites and great white shark attacks in uh, Spain. So here's Spain. And what areas of concern really is like the, the top top part of Spain, the Bay of Biscay, and down near the Gibraltar Straits, this, this section of coastline here near Cadiz and then down near Malaga and then also like the Balearic Islands here Mallorca, Menorca and, and Ibiza and then there's Cabrera here, small small island so that's Spain so jumping into some statistics yeah so there's actually been 35 shark attack case files that have spawned out of Spain really over the years dating back hundreds of years some of them involve different species of shark but obviously this video is going to just concern ourselves with the great white shark attacks and there's actually been eight fatalities uh, documented by great white sharks in spain and a few points to note is there's been no no cases were actually reported between 1930 and 1962 so there's quite a there's long gap of really no no activity for for whatever reasons and the last last attack by a great white shark actually occurred in 1986 at the the windsurfing world championships just off uh, Cadiz, which is which is down here, which we're going to look at. So th these uh, eight fatalities here. So I've I've drawn them on the map here. So there was there was one off Cabrera, one up near Barcelona, a couple down near Malaga, um, one here off uh, Ceuta, which is actually northern Africa, but it's a, like a conclave of Spain two off Cadiz and one up here near 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 uh, La Coruña so we're going to run through these but before we run through them uh, I'm just going to just go through a couple of other things just to just to flesh the video out give it some context so how did great white sharks end up in the uh, Mediterranean is a is a question that's sort of baffled scientists for many years so in, in 2010 they done some genetic variation studies of great white sharks in the Mediterranean they took samples of different great whites a couple in Turkey some off Italy samples that they were managed to obtain and this genetic profiling revealed that that the sharks in the Mediterranean the population had like a, div a very diverse set of genetics but the population was actually more akin to sharks in Australia and New Zealand so their genetic profile matched up more closely with Australia and New Zealand sharks which you wouldn't think would you you would think it would be North West Atlantic sharks or South African sharks but it wasn't actually the case they were more closely related to the sharks down in in uh, Australia and why this is is there, there is a few theories but that the the theory that I like or the theory that that seems to make more sense to me is um is an event that took place during the late Pleistocene it's like a lot of climate change like proper climate change not not like today's climate change like proper climate change back in um the pleistocene late pleistocene you know caused by various things to do with glaciation and other factors the uh sea level actually dropped by at least 150 meters and what this done is it it caused large areas of, of land to be reclaimed from the sea and it and it caused like a natural barrier uh which meant fish couldn't migrate into warmer waters in the pacific and it also caused this phenomenon known as the agulis leakage and it changed like the flow of the current so what they think happened is because this all this land was locked off here sharks like great whites back this is like a hundred and four hundred and fifty thousand years ago the great whites like followed these currents uh down to the agulis and then they would have followed the currents across the atlantic up following the gulf stream and then when they reached here it would have been their time like to breed or give birth and then the sharks obviously naturally wanted to go east and so they went east like they normally would have done but obviously this area here in Australia and stuff was all blocked off so they, they just went east and they ended up in the Mediterranean this is what they think happened and then the, those, those sharks and even uh, swordfish uh, they got into the med and then they just ended up staying there and there's also some theories that they're that you know sharks are the, in the North uh, Atlantic go go in and out but it's never been never been proven uh, so why are there lot less sharks now? Yeah, we've been through this before in another video. I think it's just that the, the, the tuna population just got absolutely reamed by humans in the 70s and the night up to the 70s and 80s and 90s. They were massively overfished due to high prices of Japanese markets. And there was actually no quotas in place until 1998. And then even a tracking system wasn't even uh, introduced until 2008. Um, 
and then Pew did a study in 2008 also and the, the trade of tuna actually exceeded the quotas by 31% and in 2011 this had grown to 141% so they're, they're basically everyone's like pirates they just owe massively overfishing the tuna and then even the dolphin populations have dropped about 30% in the last three generations so this is why there's been a decrease in numbers of great whites in the med basically just humans unable to uh reach an e equilibrium of the uh, natural world as always. Every mammal on this planet instinctively develops a natural equilibrium with the surrounding environment, but you humans do not. And then just what I'll do here quickly, I'll just show you some evidence. So this is this is evidence of great white sharks that are, that are, that are currently in the med and have, have been seen in the med. So this one up here, um, off uh, Ribsalella, I think it's called, it's northern Spain. This was a video captured in 2021 of a, of a large great white. And I mean, this is astonishing that this, this shark was up here and it's a very large great white. And it's actually only five days swim from the UK. This shark could have swum up to the UK in five days. That's mad. So there's this, this one here. And then number two, this is a sighting off Cabrera National Park. I think taken from a, a plane or, or a helicopter that's quite high up. And this is a five meter great white sighting in 2018. And then this third one here was also in 2021, which is another large great white just spotted off the port of La Coruña, just down here. And then number four, uh, down in the Gibraltar Straits, or just off Cordiz, actually, this is the one that happened in 1986. So this is the the windsurfer so this windsurfer was in the windsurfing world championships in 1986 and he, he was just windsurfing and a great white came up as believed to be a three or four meter great white so maybe like nine to twelve foot great white hit his windsurf board knocked him into the water and he, he climbed back on his board and the, the great white actually bit his foot off clean off but obviously managed to get 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 to safety and he, he obviously survived but he lost his foot but that's that was actually the last attack that, that took place 1986 uh, well documented and then here as well, just off uh, one of these beaches here between uh, Alicante and Valencia in 2021, a, a large five meter sort of, you know, 15, 16 foot great white was actually spotted close to the beach. And they actually closed the beaches in Spain for about two or three weeks. Oh, sorry, knocked into the mic there. So yeah, they actually closed closed the beaches here for two or three weeks uh, just due to this sighting. So they, I mean, they must take it seriously. So yeah, there's just some evidence there that the you know, after the research, I've done some research there, and you know there still is great or are great white sharks in the med, possibly making a comeback. And then just looking at these these eight fatalities, so we'll just I'll just give you some some brief detail of these eight fatalities. So this first one, just off the the, the Balearic Islands, uh, two thousand. This is nineteen twelve, going back nineteen twelve. So. Yeah, this, these Balearic Islands used to be a stronghold for great whites uh, up until the tuna stocks were depleted as well. So yeah, up until like the 1970s, this is an area known to still have great whites. So this is 1912, this first one of Cabrera, which is actually a national park now. And the governor of Cabrera was actually fishing with some friends and he fell into the water while fishing and uh, the sharks, a couple of great whites must have been following the boat. Maybe they were chucking chum in and he, he was just, yeah, torn asunder apparently and these two great whites just killed him and it, he didn't he didn't survive that uh, attack and then also there was records even post 19th century around the Bal Balearic Islands uh, to support evidence that there were more attacks but they, these these other attacks weren't as well reported but I think because this guy was like the the governor of Cabrera that this attack was reported because he was like a, a local dignitary and then this uh, this second attack the second attack down here, which is uh, Sayuta, which is actually part of Africa, but part of Spain. This attack took place uh, Monday, July the 31st, 1911. And it was just off this North, North African autonomous city, as I said, Sayuta, and uh, just surrounded by Morocco, actually there. Uh, and, and there's a local soldier, he's been at the local garrison, he went for a swim with his friends uh, and he was bitten severely on the leg by a large great white shark and they actually tried to amputate his leg but he's obviously back in the day, nasty old business and he, yeah, he succumbed to his injuries and uh, several soldiers actually witnessed uh, the shark attack just from, from 
boats close by and they actually managed to catch and kill the shark and then previous months before this there had actually been another large great white shark had been killed in the area for fear of the fishermen and the swimmers so there were great white sharks in the area and then number three this attack up here which is the closest fatality actually that by a great white shark to the uk this attack took place august the 28th 1909 there's a 26 year old male william newbury he was killed by a great white uh, and he was they they'd actually seen a few, a few large like great whites uh, a few days previously had been following their steamer boat so this is common for sharks large sharks to follow boats so i guess it's like bilge tanks and stuff being emptied and stuff being thrown overboard is probably quite attractive to the sharks and once they reached the the coast this this guy must have jumped in for a swim or something or somebody cried man overboard and they quickly raised the rescue boat uh, was launched but newbury was observed to be like just swimming and then from the deck uh, and the rescue boat people just watched and the, the, the boat raced towards Newbury and he suddenly let out a shriek and then uh, he, he, he like disappeared in a pool of blood and then there was a large great white shark seen, uh, seen swimming underneath the surface and that had had the guy in his mouth but they never recovered the body but I don't know why that guy jumped in I think they maybe just rocked up and he went for a swim and then uh, this this fourth attack here took place just just outside Barcelona on a river mouth so this was Monday July the 22nd um sorry 25th 1864 so three men had traveled to south barcelona to the beach close to the mouth of the uh uh biosa river to bathe in the evening time and then two of the men had actually exited the water and their friend had stayed in and then moments later they they heard a like a cry and they said that a large great white had just like swallowed him whole and then they, they recall as well hearing like a dull sound. I don't know what that meant. And maybe it's translated that like there was no sound, like there was sound and then no sound. But then the fishermen in the area had actually seen this large great white enter the bay hours before, but they did they obviously didn't warn these swimmers. Um yeah, and they did they apparently the the man's daughter as well dreamt dreamt that he'd been killed the night before. But I mean that that's kind of irrelevant information. It's just there's bad news and there's irrelevant news basically. Uh, and then this fifth fifth fatality down here this took place on uh fr friday july the, the 25th 1862 and this was like a local 18 year old lad rosella martinez and he was attacked by a great white shark around uh two o'clock in the afternoon so him and several friends had gone gone swimming down here sort of close to malaga this is and the great white shark actually took his leg completely off on the, with the first bite and then circled back around and then bit his right thigh a nearby boat came over to the scene and then the man the men in the boat began hitting the shark with with the with oars and it actually abandoned him uh and then the victim was pulled up and the shark swam off but the boy obviously yeah died as they pulled him out of the water apparently he was like crying in pain as well as they were pulling him out but died very quickly uh yeah and be before the attack the shark had been actually seen hunting swordfish and they reckon that it had give up like trying to catch the swordfish obviously a lot more agile prey than a human and then it's set set upon this uh, young lad and it was believed to be around a nine nine foot great white so not not particularly big great white but big enough to to kill a person and then number six here this attack here just this is this is close to closer to cadiz this is like a hot day uh monday the the 14th of june 18 uh 1886 and this is there's another 18 year old sailor he just went for a swim around the ship uh, moored up just off the coast and a shark said to have been around 18 foot just attacked him and consumed him and there was another attack here as well actually the, the, literally the day before when another sailor was killed alongside uh, another vessel which is actually the ss uh, kirtage which is a vessel that was an american vessel involved in the american civil war and another sailor actually jumped off here and was killed by a great white and then attack number eight which is back here off Malaga. This is the, the eldest attack dating back to 1764. And this is another swimmer killed. And apparently their their legs were bitten clean off by a shark and consumed. And then there's just the torso was left and they actually pulled pulled the guy's torso from the water and, and it, he, he was obviously dead quite quickly from, from that. So that's uh, that's Spain, basically. Those, those eight fatalities. And, and although they do date back like some time uh i think going back to 
this slide here, uh, no, not this slide here, this slide here that come into focus. Yeah, I mean, even though those attacks date back to sort of the last fatality was 1912 off, off Cabrera here, that there's clear evidence that these, these great whites are still here in Spain. So, yeah, as, as I've, I've sort of demonstrated. Uh, so yeah, I, I think that possibly in the future of better conservation, which we are seeing now, that you could we could see uh, another attack in Spain. So plenty of plenty of people enter the water in Spain. That's, that's the thing. So yeah, slightly longer video today, but I hope you enjoyed that one. That's the history of great whites in Spain. Later's.